Hello and welcome. I will be talking about the technology trends for the next decade. This video is purely for those who are studying technology. They may have recently graduated or will be graduating soon, around 2020 or afterwards. The real challenge for you guys begin after you have graduated and you're about to start your career. So here I am talking about the technologies which you should really be paying attention to for a successful career. Watch this video till the end and you will find this out. So guys, we are living in an era where the technology development is very fast and I bet no sector is immune to disruption. Business models have changed, boundaries have diminished and unicorns and mega tech companies already be found in a very short span of time if we compare it to the past of course first in my list is ai and machine learning it offers powerful capabilities to optimize the processes and offer entirely new services to the organizations the application areas for these technologies are natural language processing economic forecasting image recognition and so forth AI will continue to improve in performance, but surpassing human intelligence may only become available after 2030. The tech industry focus has been on automation lately, hence AI and machine learning engineers are already in high demand. This is Internet of Things. The dream of connected world is becoming reality. Implementation of sensors virtually everywhere, for example at homes, in the agriculture lands, automobiles, roads, health equipment and the list goes on are not only helping us improve our understanding of the system but also enhancing our ability to control and automate them remotely. By 2030 the mega tech companies like Cisco, Huawei and Ericsson predict the IoT devices to be as many as 500 billion up from some 20 billion devices today. This is blockchain. Blockchain mechanisms may look extremely complex, but the basic idea itself is very simple. Blockchain decentralizes the storage of data so that the data cannot be owned, controlled or manipulated by a central actor. It enables a transparent means to convey information and improve authenticity. It is the technology that can be used to solve real-world problems by revolutionizing contracts, tracking and payments, including carbon credit in logistic chain. However, there are few challenges and the next decade will be full of excitement to solve those. Here I would like to clarify one thing that many people think blockchain is Bitcoin but it is not, it is much more than that. 5G networks Mobile data traffic is rising rapidly mostly due to video streamings. With multiple devices each user has growing number of connections. Internet of Things will require networks that must handle billions of devices. With a growing number of mobiles and increased data traffic, both mobiles and networks need to increase energy efficiency. Mobile communication technology can enable new use cases and new applications for the industry, opening up new revenue streams also for the operators. So incremental evolution of 4G system alone was not sufficient here. Thus a 5G system that was required to introduce some fundamentally new technologies and paradigms to complement ongoing evolution trends and solve these challenges. And here uh, we have started to see initial deployments of 5G networks already today, but it is just the beginning we will see an increasing demand of engineers for 5G network research, development, deployment and management in the coming decade. Fifth in my list is Big Data. Big Data is the field that treats ways to analyze, 
systematically extract information from or otherwise deal with data sets that are too large or complex for traditional data processing application softwares. We know digital twins will emerge in the future. That is to combine data analytics with real-time data to predict the risk levels. For example, usage of big data in health industry will revolutionize it, of course, where individuals will be increasingly empowered about precise data about their health. Big data combined with advanced analytics can help deliver sustainable healthcare when the human body is being analyzed and described at a levels of details never previously possible. Its applications are massive and a lot needs to be done analyzed in the coming years. So this area has enormous potential. Sixth on my list is cloud computing and edge computing. So first we look at cloud computing, which is on demand availability of computer system resources. And it is used to process the data that is not time driven or time sensitive. Whereas edge computing is the same thing as cloud computing, but it is for the time sensitive and localized data. Both cloud and edge computing are important and cloud computer uh, computing or edge computing technologies are complementary to each, each other. More and more companies nowadays, no matter if it is a large company we speak of or a small company, they are adopting cloud and edge services. Concepts like software as a service and hardware as a service or platform as a service, whatever we call them, have been introduced to reduce the cost of ownership. And we believe within the next decade, almost everything from hardware to software will become available as a service. And there we see a high demand of the engineers. Seventh in my list is renewable energy. Fossil fuels as a primary energy source dominated the last century. Now the trend is set and it is gaining momentum to move towards more renewable and low carbon energy resources. It may seem slow today, but the pace of transition from fossil fuel to wind and solar is accelerating day by day. And to meet these challenges, research and development is being carried out technologically in terms of affordability and also to find new energy generation methods. And here I must say, it's not only new energy generation methods we speak of, but also the ways to harvest energy, such that the next decade will witness some key tipping points in the energy landscape. And this is something I think we should all not forget that uh, renewable energy resources will be uh, one of the key technology area where we will see some drastic changes happening in the coming decade. Eighth in my list is quantum computing. Quantum computing is the use of quantum mechanical phenomena such as superposition and entanglement to perform a computation. The first com quantum computer was built in late 1990s and commercial quantum computers came into market around 2011. As we see greater amount of data being created and the ability to analyze and the use of data to deliver insight will be a key issue in the coming years. And here quantum computing promises some super uh, computational capabilities. Although we know there are a lot of uh, challenges and a number of limitation in com quantum computing today. Uh, for example, the ability to handle errors, maintain quantum states for extended periods. So we know with, with all these challenges, we still believe that it has potential to solve our today's problem. And we expect ever more exciting close up proof of concept quantum devices in the coming decade. 
and we believe no real commercial scale quantum computing applications will be available before 2030. Ninth on my list is robots and cobots. Revolution in the robot industry is making machines more and more independent of human active intervention. They will no longer require active human support for regular operations and decision making. The operations in the machine will be run by algorithms, which will also make human augmented decisions. Take an example of factory automation which is considered to be the largest part of global automation market in 2020. And robots are key to achieve this. According to one of the study from Oxford Economics, that 20 million robots are ex expected to be installed by 2030, up to 2.25 million today, replacing many jobs but also stimulating new avenues of employment in local integrated manufacturing. My list is connected autonomous vehicles. The decade of 2030 will be remembered as a major turning point in the history of mobility. The technologies driving this shift are intimately bound with new scientific advances ways of thinking and business and economic models arrive, arising from the ever more urgent mission to, to make the driving safer, comfortable and more efficient. And connected and autonomous drive is one of the area that will change or shape the next decade for the technology. By connected driving means when the cars are connected to each other and by autonomous driving means when the cars can drive on its own, whether the driver is present in the car or there is no driver in the car and collectively connected autonomous drive where the cars will be driving by on its own and they will be communicating to each other to make the roads safer than ever before. And this is one of the area where most of the automotive companies are working today. And this area has enormous potential for a lot of young engineers to continue their research and studies for another decade, or I would say another decades from today. 11th on my list is food and agriculture. We all know that Food is one of the basic necessities of the life. As the days are passing, more and more new cities are emerging, we are losing the agricultural land. Not only that, the population of the world is increasing each passing day. And that means that the demand for food are increasing by that pace. Which means if we do not adopt some new ways for our agriculture, that then we are not going to sustain this for so long and we may have shortage of food in the coming years. And there it brings a problem and a problem brings new possibilities or challenges where engineers, where researchers will have a lot of opportunities in the coming decade to do new research, to bring new ideas, to produce more food effectively, efficiently, and reducing the green gas effects from it. On my list is augmented reality. Augmented reality usually applies information in a disassociated visual context. But thanks to advanced sensors, such as those in Microsoft HoloLens and Magic Leap, information can be mapped to specific physical context. There are challenges with their application, most notably potential motion sickness and costly hardware for both VR and MR applications. So VR is basically virtual reality and MR is mixed reality. In the next 10 years, 
We expect to see these platforms mature through the current experimentation where the design and capabilities in the application will become the focus. And here, this is another area that has potential to evolve and um, say that bring new possibilities for the engineers. My message with this video is to make you aware of the technology trends and help you choose your career path wisely. I want you to constantly improve your skills so you are ready for the challenges. Hopefully you have enjoyed watching this video. To follow all the videos about careers, visit this playlist. To watch the latest video, you may press the link here. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't before. You may also press the bell icon if you want to be notified about the new videos as soon as they are uploaded. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon.